How are you doing? Scotty from Scott's Bass Lessons again. Hope you're well. If you haven't been to Scott's Bass Lessons yet, make sure you do so straight after this video because there is hours and hours of free bass lessons for you to check out, all in HD video. So get there straight after this lesson. And make sure you subscribe to the newsletter as well when you do so because I'll send you free exclusive lessons that aren't available on YouTube and it's some of the best stuff that I've done. And I'll send you loads of other good stuff as well. So yeah, get over there, subscribe. So this week we're going to be talking about something I've had loads and loads of emails about over the last couple of weeks. I released a slap bass um, lesson a few weeks ago and there's a little triplet thing I did in there. I didn't really explain it because I didn't think anything of it and I've had a load of emails. So what I want to do is just show you a riff today that's going to utilise that specific technique. Now the triplet technique that I'm talking about is basically this. Now within a bass line, it basically gives this kind of this kind of sound. The thing is with slap bass, it's it's almost the ghost notes and the dead notes that make it funky, that, that give it the kind of depth. If I was just playing the notes, it really wouldn't have that that percussion that percussive type of vibe to it. So it's all the dead notes that make the difference with slap bass. Now there's a few things to take into consideration when you're playing slap bass. The first thing is your right arm. Make sure you're rotating it, not doing this. It's not this motion. It's a rotation of the arm, just like grabbing a doorknob and twisting it like that and opening it. Let's do it like that, just like that. Ooh, there's a funny clack in there. I hope that's nothing serious. Um, yeah, so just grabbing the doorknob and turning it like that. And that's the action that you want to use when you're playing on the bass. Some people do this and have their thumb down here. This feels really uncomfortable to me, but you know, it might work for you. So they use that, but again, it's that rotation. Now the other hand to take into, cons into consideration is the left hand. There's a lot of you know slaps that come off this hand as well. It's not just playing the notes, it's hammering on, it's playing. Or percussive type, type stuff like that. Obviously not just that, but that within a riff. But with, there's several different ways to create this triplet that I'm talking about. And it's something I use all the time. I kind of use it without even thinking about it now. And I'm using the index finger and the middle finger of my right hand. So normally I play just with thumb and index. Like this. But to get the triplet sound, I'm using the index and the middle. And, all it, and see the rotation of the arm. Thumb index middle thumb index middle now th there's other ways of getting these triplets but just today i'm going to concentrate on this but we're going to do different um different ways of getting these triplets in future tutorials so this one again just really slowly thumb index middle thumb index middle one triplet one triplet one triplet and normally you can do this as well in right within a scale situation. If you just wanted to practice it over and over again, you could take something like a B flat major scale, for instance, which is B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. Okay. And you could do a triplet on each note. So we've got That's just to get that movement because it's the movement. It's almost, it's a muscle memory thing. You've got to do it over and over and get the just the right touch so your fingers are going to come away and not get stuck too much underneath the strings, okay? Again, just this B flat major scale. like a horse galloping, isn't it? So now let's put that into a riff. 
Okay, so this riff is in E, and it starts off just with the open E string. In fact, I'll play it for you first quite slowly so you can try kind, kind of take it in, and then we'll dissect it and see where we're putting these triplets in, okay? So this is it really slowly. Two, three, four. Now can you hear that? It's almost, it's all about the dead notes. It's really, I'm not really playing that many notes. I'm playing, which we'll go through in a minute, but it's all the dead notes. So the riff, <coughs> let's break it down. The first part, so it's just E and an open G. So remember, you always, when you're playing this, you want this teka 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 almost flowing inside you. And then you can key into that and, and put notes onto your internal rhythm. So, so it's just a C sharp to a D. Here comes the triplet. Okay. And again. So it's D. Actually, I'm not playing the D, I'm just hitting it. Hitting the thumb. Thumb, dead note, dead note, index, middle. You've got to keep these, these um, notes <coughs> dampened as well, otherwise they'll kind of sort of ring out. So thumb, index, middle, and then thumb, hammer, so D, E, and then the thumb again. And then we've got a pluck. Yeah, so that, remember we're in the key of E7, E dominant 7. I should say this right now actually. Here's the arpeggio for E7. And when you're doing slap bass, anything, in fact, anything music related, make sure that you understand where the arpeggio is when you're playing it, okay? Because then you can utilize the notes within that arpeggio. If you're just playing a riff and you don't understand the musicality or the, the technical side of how the arpeggio fits underneath the riff, then it, you're kind of just sort of like playing something from memory, you know, it, just doesn't, it hasn't any sort of like context or, or substance. You need to make sure that you understand everything you play musically as well as technically. Anyway, I go back to what I was telling you. So we've gone, then this little bit. So it's a slide up to the third of that E7 chord, and then I hit the open E. So really slowly. And then the last bit. That's the coolest note of the whole entire thing, isn't it? It's the D, which is the, it's the flat seven of the E seven arpeggio, okay? Just so you know that E seven arpeggio, E, G sharp, B, and D. Again, just the slap riff. Actually, I was doing this last time, at the end of it. Triplet. 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 Let's hear it up to speed. Now this is something that you're going to have to do a lot just to get the muscle memory to start happening and then try and work it into your other slap um, tight riffs as well because it really just 
it just opens up the actual rhythmical side of the riff a lot more. It, it's more percussive, it adds a lot more depth to the riff. And it's so easy to do as well, you can just kind of flick it in there. It's the index and the middle. Just do it over and over again. It doesn't have to be musical, you can just be sitting there watching the TV, just making sure you've gotten that. Or adding it into the major scale. So now let's hear that with the backing track. Now if you look underneath this video, if you're on YouTube, there will be a link and it'll take you straight to a page. You'll be able to download the backing track I'm about to use from that page. If you're watching this on my website, it's right underneath this video. Just check it out. Download this backing track now. So the best way to get this, this triplet thing into your own playing is to actually incorporate it in your, the riffs that you play already. You could do this riff, I really want you to play this riff, it's a bit of a tricky riff, I really want you to get it down. But if it's a little bit too complex for you, just try and get that triplet thing into your own playing. It's literally index, middle, thumb. Again. Try it with the major scale. and. Once you've got it into your playing and into that sort of like that muscle memory, there's so many cool little licks you can play. There's one that I play way too much when I'm slapping. It sounds like this. And I can move it all around the neck. And it sounds a lot more complex than it actually is. I'm literally playing thumb, hammer, and then hammer with my little finger and then I start the triplet. Now, it's the dead notes are actually more important than the actual, you know, the actual notes that you can hear, but that's, you can hear me, you know, you can hear me moving around. I'm not sort of like concentrating too much on the notes. It's more that percussive element. And that's why this triplet thing is really good. It just gives your, the, <clears throat> the slap riffs that you're playing now, it'll give them much more a rhythmical depth that they didn't have before. Now there is other ways to get these triplets and we're gonna talk about that in future tutorials, but I really urge you to try and get this little triplet thing into your playing. It'll push your slap playing to that next level. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have, make sure you click the like button underneath this video. Um, and other than that, make sure you go to scottsbasslessons.com, check out the hours and hours of free lessons I've put together for you there. I'll see you soon, take it easy and get in the shed.